man oh man guys here we go again and this week as you can see in here we don't have nothing to work on Sorry. we've always got something to work on so this week uh, i'm having to adapt and manipulate my plans around uh we have something we have to do we have to head out of town uh tomorrow yeah tomorrow it's a very unexpected thing but uh it's what we're gonna do and uh, i think i can still get y'all video out now this week i was planning on working on the giveaway truck uh but i need more than one day uh, but we will be on this thing soon enough uh, yeah that's some new leaf springs for it don't you worry about that last week was a good week because we fired up the wagon for the first time we let it run enough to break it in but it's so loud you really couldn't hear anything so i didn't want to run it no more than what i had to just to get her on the trailer and y'all seen we took it to the exhaust shop so i got some text last night our exhaust is d-u-n she's done she's ready to for uh for us to come pick it up so i got a couple things i gotta do here real quick and then we'll be heading that way and last week i showed y'all the new little tow pig she's a gas burner okay uh but i've just left it hooked up expecting us to go get this thing kind of proud of that truck and someone said oh, i figured by now you'd you'd learn to get away from gm junk get away from that gm junk so as i go to take my merchandise orders to the uh, post office here i figured i'd show y'all more some more gm junk because i got a really good deal on this thing i've been looking for one for about six months and as you see she is the gmc 3500 extra long edition it's got the booty on it like the church vans guys it's long yeah in fact you could see where you could cut it out for the church van windows row of kids here 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 you can fit a small community in this thing guys you get two captain chairs she's very basic nothing fancy over the top we well, got a separator cage thing here and I love my little box trucks, guys, but sometimes when it's time to do some real hauling, uh, those little things just ain't enough. And I can make those work, but I need something that our helper, Nathan, that I can trust him driving. Uh, he don't even know how to drive a stick. We're going to cross that bridge. I'm going to get him there. Uh, but something with modern, guys, those things in the rain, little eek, eek, eek. windshield wipers, you know, I need something uh, that I can put him in and feel confident for him and his safety and everything else and this thing having all that storage we've already used this for crap around here guys y'all know we're gonna be moving in probably a two months out to the other place this is gonna make life around here so much easier uh, when i first bought it my wife was like why in the world would you get that and then we've been using it and she's like i kind of like the van not she don't like it she calls it the creeper van uh she likes it because of how useful it is i mean and also because you guys are awesome when we usually do big releases of merchandise like we did last week guys we get flooded like the first like that's a lot of orders but once we get past this you know next week we may only do say 100 orders well 100 orders is only like five of those bins right now we've got a crap ton of them bins and once we move out to the other place you know if it's like a day where it's raining and stuff sometimes uh sometimes we've hauled those in pickups and stuff like that and then anyhow that'll make it where if i can't transport it in the yeehaw from out there to there we have this where others can transport it in the ye or in the man van now she does have a whiskey dinner 12 we'll go over that i plan on doing an actual video with this van because there's a few things i'd like to fix on it and uh, i'd like to slap a hitch on it i'd like to do some test towing with it just out of curiosity because she does have the 6.0 in it. She's a 3,500. And that truck's so low geared and with the four wheel drive and the front axle and all that, like you can literally feel that truck robbing power of the 6.0. This thing has a 6.0 and it ain't got all that. And I don't know what gears are in it, but she feels a little peppy, okay? She's got a little spicy. She's got a little spice to her. She'll get up and go. No regrets on buying this thing, guys. I just wish I could have found one sooner. Like I said, I've been looking. Oh, there's old Slicky Poo pulling in. Better not hop in with me. You'll be doing merchandise. Dang, he about owed us a fender. Speaking of merchandise, guys, I cannot thank you guys enough. Them 4th of July shirts sold out in less than three hours. And less than three hours is absolutely insane. You guys set a record. We ain't ever had nothing like that. Second closest was the Christmas shirts. Uh, but thank you guys for the continued support. 
Uh, me and my girls, we were in that merchandise building all day yesterday. We got more than half the orders done. And today as I'm recording, they're gonna be knocking out the remaining, I think there's like 400 something orders on there still. <laughs> Pretty quick for an old bean. Man, it ain't bad. <laughs> Damn ying ying ying. <laughs> Dang, Slick, they could use a little rush repair. Thank you, ma'am. You're Thank you. welcome, guys. Thank you. <laughs> See you. What kind of van is this? What? Hey. Oh, van, van on van crime? <laughs> that one's got off-road wheels, you see it? Yeah. Damn right, we got a fleet. We got a fleet. <laughs> Follow me, boys. We need to pull our truck through, guys. I just called Wild Bill. Uh, man, he's... He's got a hold of me almost every single day since we dropped it off, wanting to know if it was time to go pick it back up yet. He really wants to go to pick up this wagon. And I told him it was probably gonna be today. And then I call him and he ain't answering. So who has towed with one of those vans? When I slap a, and I got the hitch already, we just, I got to pick the week that we want to work on the van. Uh, how's that thing gonna tow? Am I gonna be happy with it? Am I gonna be surprised? Am I gonna be disappointed? All the possibilities. The suspense is killing me. How you know you made it to Bill's house? There's an engine crate in the front yard. Come on, Bill. This is the first time I've ever seen Bill kind of annoyed. He, he was like, I was effing sleeping. <laughs> Usually, guys, it's like 940. Usually 730, you see him go by on a bicycle. <laughs> We're going to let Bill get his beauty rest before we get shot. <laughs> He'll get over it. You got the Lambo door up on her or what? Yeah. Repping. Make your tweakers. <laughs> oh yeah, she's got the chameleon paint job insert. With the custom towel seat cover. I like it. Little green uh, golf carpet. These door hinges actually bolt on? Yep. We can go this outside in this thing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> and be respected. <laughs> she's got all the billet. Every single bit of the billet. All of it. Let's see how this thing's lifted. Holy coil! So they do call rough country and get some for a Jeep or what? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got the long travel shocks. I was gonna say, someone put on these brackets because that ain't no factory weld there. That weld actually looks pretty good. $3,000 rear your end. But the nice four link, she's adjustable, full adjustable. Y'all shaving thin over here? No, I see the hitch on the back though where you can <laughs> tow with it. Is she motorized? She better be. Got the disc brakes on the rear. You got the bows? Yeah, little yellow wall. And he said a couple of the welds are broke. Oh, they straight welded it to the bumper. <laughs> little, little 7018 stick welding action. Damn it, when you got a tow, you got a tow. You bow tie tips. I should have known better. Hey, speaking of tips, when we look at what we actually come to look at here. Uh, so, Brandon was having a hard time not a hard time. Uh, someone put big fat tires back here and you know, disc brakes and we got a gas tank on this side. We got a spare tire on that side so there ain't nowhere to get to the outside. On your uh, sedans and two doors and all that kind of stuff, you can whoop out there, but on this you can't. So we elected to just shoot straight out right there. That don't look bad. Uh, I'm usually not an exhaust tip kind of guy. I don't really want to see it. But I also don't want all that exhaust fume trying to work its way up into the wagon. So hopefully that right there will split the difference. What do you think, Slick? Not bad. I swear just getting it on and off the trailer lowered it another inch. That stuff's going to keep settling and that thing's just going to keep getting lower and lower. Looking better and better as we go. So Brandon sent me a video of it running. And in the video, you can hear a little popping, a little pop, 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 pop. And uh, so before we fire it up and hear it, I want to check the uh, plug wires for the firing order because it kind of sounds like maybe two of them could be crossed. Brandon's going to get his prop rod, but little did he know I brought mine. Four, three, six. Well, this side's good. That's kind of disappointing. Well, that ain't good. Apparently the uh, firing order is correct, which is good. I got it correct, but at the same time, bad because it's correct. <laughs> yeah, bad because that's what I was hoping to be our uh, 
pro problemo. Well, that one just pulled right off and I didn't even really pull on it, so that ain't good. I heard it click on that time. That coil hot. Going live. Let my fear don't sound happy. Power steering is empty. Well, she don't sound terrible. Exhaust sounds pretty good. Power steering pump's definitely whining. And I don't know if y'all could hear the little popping, if this microphone's gonna pick it up or not. But there's definitely some tuning to be doing. Dang. YouTube's lucky we're responsible because that thing would look a lot better with some mud tires. <laughs> I decided to go for a little run. I just felt like running. That thing kind of looked like a catfish coming up on you, didn't it? That old catfish needs a bumper back on it. I didn't get to show y'all this. I thought I did, but I lost the clip. Everyone's like, why'd you dimple dye them arms? Because I knew one day we were going to have to tow this to the exhaust shop and I could hook it just like that there. <laughs> Made it easy. I crawled underneath this thing last time around for a good few minutes and there's like nowhere good to strap it. And then I seen them and uh, I was like, oh yeah, them speed holes about to come in handy. Got her strapped down, ready to head towards the house. Now by head home, I did mean head to the Harbor Freighter we need to pick up a tool or two man that thing looks tough you don't even know they they sell vacuum gauges anymore maybe they don't people don't use them did find us a laser gun like we're after that way we can shoot us some lasers around might have to get us one of these top of the line units because gone through a couple of them ones and they're garbage you know so buy the next better one that thing check the oil too or what <laughs> boy it better with all them functions and digital displays comes with a premium storage case what else could you ask for is this for professional diagnostics for the master technician that's me slick <laughs> we got compression testers engine oil pressure testers 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 i just need a vacuum gauge how many wagon compliments did we get between here and the front door? Two at least. It's crazy. Everybody loves it. You gonna fix that rig up? You ever gonna you gonna put some money into it? Maybe get it running one day? When you gonna paint it? Had one just like it. Except it was blue and it was a two-door. 69. Nope. Ford. <laughs> Other than that, it was just like it. Just like it. The bad news is they did not have our vacuum gauge. The good news is we have to go somewhere to get one. Now y'all know one of my favorite places to go anyhow. And speaking of O'Reilly's, here at Puddin's Fab Shop, we've always got a project going on. Projects, plenty of projects going on. Now, whether we're taking a four x four for a bath, breaking in a new motor, or just doing some maintenance on the old box truck mafia here. We always need parts. Now more specifically, when I need something ignition related, I head to O'Reilly's to get me some top quality AC Delco parts. You dang right. I know quality when it's in my hand, guys. Right now, when you buy at least four of these AC Delco iridium spark plugs, you're gonna get a $12 O'Reilly's gift card and, there's a and, you get three times the O reward points. That's a smoking deal. Speaking of smoking, these plugs can handle the roughest and toughest of conditions, guys. Like temperatures up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> they can handle up to 25,000 volts or more. That's a lot of power. And pressure up to 2,000 PSI. I'm telling you right now, these plugs are built like an NFL linebacker and they're tougher than a $2 steak. And that right there is a combination that would make any engine happy. Now on top of that, I got a little uh, PFS, a little Puns Fab Shop bonus action for you. Top secret stuff right here. Had to pull a few strings to make this one happen for you. From right now through July 5th, 
you can save five dollars off a 25 dollar purchase of any regularly priced merchandise five dollars off 25 that's like 20 percent guys it's not like 20 percent it is 20 percent it's like tuning a small block Chevy, guys. It's super simple. All you gotta do is click the link in the description of this video. That is gonna generate you your $5 off coupon. Really, all I hear is opportunities for savings. You go buy them plugs, you're gonna get your $12 gift card, you get $5 off, you get three times the O reward points that helps you get you to your next reward, which is probably more money off. Saving, saving, saving. If you're gonna be spending, you might as well be a saving. Now, when I got an opportunity to save some serious cash, I hop in this yeehaw and I haul some serious a Now I done put some AC Delcos in this unit. She don't play no games. She'll get down the road. In fact, they should change it from AC Delco to AC She'll Go. Cause since I put them in here, she'll buggy. Hope them spark plugs are ready. Cause I'm coming in hot, baby. Looky there, fancy new vacuum gauge for the old missing machine. Of course, we stopped to grab a sandwich here, and yeah, old Bill shows up now. He finally woke up. But I guess so. <laughs> he didn't sound so angry this time. <laughs> Ow! Smack the devil out them knuckles. problems see hit yep yeah, right there. keep going keep cranking slick oh i see some daylight <laughs> damn lower july feast i swear just getting it on and off the trailer lowered it another inch we seen earlier though. It ain't popping. Did better. you miss go away? Sounds like it. Yeah, I did. I didn't hear it popping that time, guys. Like her miss may have disappeared. She's fixed. Holy lift kit. Now I told you guys that wagon settles every time <laughs> it goes on and off the trailer. That's how much we just had that thing jacked up. It is dog leg. That tire is damn near off the that ground. That tire is off the ground, that's it. Yeah, no! <laughs> you got three wheel motion right now. It took every bit of that to get that off that trailer. Told y'all it's settling. Sure, that's good for this. Yeah, real good. No! Go! <laughs> Not the hat. All right, and we're gonna start with pulling off this extremely long piece of all thread here. We're gonna get the chrome jobber. Do you like the Do you like the pipes on her, Bill? She sound pretty good. The pipes? Yeah, I sound real good. I'm trying to, in my head, process think the best order of starting to check stuff. Uh, we do know this side was running hotter. Uh, we could definitely check for a vacuum leak on this side. Uh, initially looking, like I said, I don't know exactly what our screws do here on our elder brock i could look this up real quick but this one uh she ain't plumb smushed and then this one you can see it's smushed down and what i'm saying is this screw has definitely ran in more than that screw and that ain't us filling with turns or anything like that that's just giving it the eagle eye that's obvious it was weird that the mist did sound like it left uh but you know we want to le look at plugs we don't want to run it anymore and we have to get it hot it's just a hodgepodge of what should we check first you want to pull number two and have a look see bill yeah that cool cool off a little bit now she ain't got to cool off just come to the bottom side i reckon we'll pull number two one thing i want to do for certain is bring this motor to top dead center mark our balancer uh, where it's kind of dwelling uh, i'm gonna show y'all how i think we should figure out top dead center 
before we get too ahead of ourselves, guys, uh, let's just pull this and have a look. See, height. that sucker's hot if you oh, kiss yeah, it with that thumb. Bet. Yeah, that thing's kind of looks like it's running fat, not lean. Mm, slap that back in. As far as the mist goes, another thing we did not check out there before we just fired it up was all of our boots down here to make sure none of them had popped off. This one over here, it's like yeah. this. Yeah, okay. Back, Back one. one. Popped off there? Yeah, it was popped off there. I just barely pushed it on it. Clink. Maybe she was just arcing across there most of the time, but not all the time. Well, we could fire it up and try to tune on it and stuff like that uh, before we heat her up anywhere and we have to. I think we need to pull number one and see if we can't get our uh, top dead center figured out. It feels weedy in service. Weedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if it's okay with Bill, we're gonna hop back to this. Go ahead. Luckily, this thing got caught up on the trailer where it had plenty of time to get hot. I was like, oh, I'll just zip it off there into the shop real quick. Nope. <laughs> hey, you left the exhaust on the ground. <laughs> rip, rip the brand new exhaust off. Uh -huh. And then this side that did not turn purple, looks like it's running pretty good, actually. Yep. Got my glove on because this motor is a little hot. We're going to finger plug. Go ahead, Slick. Oh. Right there. Got a pretty good little spit to it, don't it? Looking down in there, can't even see our mark anywhere. Come up, up behind the water pump, and y'all probably can't see it, but kind of pointing point towards the alternator up in Nantucket, our mark's plumb over there. I don't know. All I do know is if we can find a way to crank our motor over by hand, slow and steady, and we feel for our piston in there, uh, we can feel for it when it comes up. But first things first, we better figure out how to turn this motor by hand because uh, it's tight fit. Let me just, there's a little bit longer socket. No depth perception Dan here trying to <laughs> best eagle eye where a damn bolt is, I can't see. It's like paying pin and tail on the donkey blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than pin and tail on the donkey. <laughs> God bless America. I got line. it. Did you get it? Yeah. See? Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> little, little dip perception goes a long way. Oh yeah, you can get her. I got it on there, but golly. Got a longer shaft on it. Can't spin this high compression unit, can you? If we take some plugs out, I could. Well, it's coming up. All right, hold what you got. And we got to just try to go easy here. I'm not going to go very fast because I can't move very fast. It's turning a little bit. You should be able to feel that. She's got to be real close. Now we're going to go a little bougie here because we're having a hard time. I'm having a hard time feeling the screwdriver. We got a bore scope, which means we can just watch it. These really aren't that bougie, guys. If you're going to be messing with engines a lot, these things are more than affordable on Amazon. They come with this little screen. Super handy. So right there, you can see we're pretty dang close, guys. That's the top of our piston. There's a valve right there. Try to rotate on it some slick. Let's see if she's moving anymore. Oh, yeah. She's going up still. All right. Guys, I think that's it right there. Had slick rotator some. And I seen a, I could see the piston come up. I could tell it had quit moving and he was still moving. So I just told him to stop there. I don't think it ever went down. So we should be sit, sitting somewhere where it's starting to dwell. We know we're per, near perfect at a uh, top dead center. Our mark's down there. Uh, you can't see nothing. The mark that's existing on the balancer right now is facing about right in here. But where our mark is right there, uh, we can, since we're setting this now, we get to say that mark down on our pointer is zero. We can put us a paint marker right there at this, a zero, and we'll be pretty dang close. Ain't that right, Bill? That's right. You didn't know how to bore scope? Mm -mm. You ever need to borrow it? It's all yours, yeah, buddy. Hell, you can even work it. I didn't know about you and technology. I don't have a 
alarm clock, so I already have a voice to know how to work the voice. I got a job, what do I need a fing alarm clock for? <laughs> hmm. Where is my timing mark makers? There's a timing mark maker drawer over here. There they are. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh yeah. The shaker might be built for he uh, uh, cans. Well, we can adapt. But with the right accessory here, she could shake just about anything. Y'all better watch out. This may turn into a missile. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she shook now. It just explodes. Oh yeah, she's marking good. And these things usually... Dude, it's crazy how much using that thing to shake stuff makes a difference. The paint sprays ten times Man, better. Really I'm not even down. joking. It'll and like these better. things, usually I shake them, and then I try to mark crap, and they don't work for like ten minutes. And then you finally get it working. I just did like twice, and it's drawing mm -hmm. perfect. The tricky part is, I gotta get down in there and mark that as accurate as we can. She's marked. I promise you that white mark down there is going to be way more accurate than the mark up here <laughs> <laughs> pointing at the carburetor. Well, I really hope our mess was just that plug wire you found. hope so too. I ain't convinced. I ain't ever convinced until I hear it running and sounding good. <laughs> Smoothing. Not a negative Nancy. I'm a practical pre pre Preston. Practical Preston. Yep. Torque it. And now we get to open up that fancy of a unit that, uh... She's a rig. You didn't see us put the lights in there, Bill? <laughs> you thought it was really doing it? I was like, that's a nice timing light. <laughs> sure is fancy. I don't even know how to use one of these. It's adjustable. Oh. Beep, beep. <laughs> what in the hell? I think we're gonna have to read this to use it. Oh, I said there's a high speed Voltage. chase in front of my house. A what? High speed chase in front of my house. <laughs> in front of your house? <laughs> yeah. The instant that the spark fires is determined by opening of the distributor ignition breaker points. It will change any time the point gap or dwell angle is changed. We got a magnetic angle. I just wanna know if we can if we can just set that sucker to zero and it's gonna show us what it's at, or if we've gotta set what we want it at and then that does it for us. You say it where you want it at, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We're gonna set it at, say, 12, if we wanted 12 before top dead center. We right. set it to 12, and then our marks are gonna line up. Right, Zero. you'll line a mark up by using the distributor if mm -hmm. it ain't close. Too fancy. Take it back. You put that on zero, and then you can read on your dial. Yeah, can we set time. it to zero? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn right, that's what I'm talking about. As long as we can do that. Holy alligator clamps! Usually you get little clips. You could jump start a car with this sucker. That, to get your God bless. Second time I've lost a hat today. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Small block Chevy, I think they say eight to 12 degrees, you know? Uh, I've always done them by ear. So as long, I just wanna verify and see where we're at because it is. it was tuned out pretty good where it's at. A uh, little hard cranking, so I'm not convinced we're perfect. But we're still gonna end up, I, I still trust the ear before the timing light, which sounds bad, but you can hear when it's running good. And I've used a timing light before and you set where everything should be happy and it just ain't running good. So. Plus well, thing too, it, it depends on how your cam's degreed, you know, where it's at. Well, and it also depends on if you install all that stuff properly and your marks line up, or do you have to mark it yourself with a white marker? There you go. <laughs> Each case is a little different. Yeah. Unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> Let's plug this unit up. I'm ready to see it powered up. How much volts do we got, you ask? About 12, too. Also, I'm pretty sure this right here is for a tachometer. So we could have hooked that up to our HEI, and we could have known where we were running at. You ready to go, Slick? I got it. Ooh, fire up. Right at eight degrees, ain't it? Yeah. You can kill it. The old eagle ear, uh, not eagle eye, but eagle ear must be pretty good because uh, that that's marked right at about eight degrees. So we're pretty close right in there. Got one on this side. Yeah, it's clinking. It's done it every time we've start, started it up today.
Yeah, it's got a little bit of rock on it back there. I said we blow the dust off the fins. Yeah. We're gonna get in there and we get in there. <laughs> you gonna give her a blowy there, tape finger? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do? Get on the fan? Yeah, she, everything's a little sharp. <laughs> Did you sign the waiver before you got here? No, nah, I got I need workers comp. <laughs> <laughs> My foot will compensate your ass. <laughs> Speaking of running with a mess, that Chevy Sparks sounded better. Look, the hamster wheel in there is a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hamst hamster's getting tired. <laughs> Slick. The tube for the train. Somebody had to put all these zip ties on the spark plug. <laughs> <laughs> so they won't move. It was hitting that too. Good. Good. Again. See that, that one? one? Yep. That one could use a little tighten. Hit it again. Yeah. yeah. There's a little chatty Kathy there. Yeah. Hit those back ones again, Bill. Do it again. 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 Okay. Again. Nope. It's this one. Yep. Camshaft's probably going flat. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because <laughs> it's breaking in. <laughs> man, man, nowadays, that thing to sweat. If this camshaft messes up, I am going to offer him a free foot service <laughs> for jinxing us there. You guys inking it, right? Yeah. You're good then. The camshaft's still good. How many turns you go in here? A little quarter turn? Yeah, I'm just... It's not that loose. So we're just using judgment on how loose these are by hand, guys. And what we're doing is bumping it around. You know, your cam's gonna turn, push your push rods. We're making sure there ain't no load on them. And then that's when Bill's doing it, you know, giving it the wiggle check. Do it again. Mm. That was a little loose. Yeah, still. Again, okay, again, again, again. That's that same one. She was still a little piggly wiggly. That one's Lily's too, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, again. Ready? Yeah. Again. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I was gonna say that one in the back is bad. That nut's soft there. Is that the intake? Yeah. Okay. He, lets, uh, he has air pressure when he works on stuff. <laughs> It <laughs> <laughs> feels like a flathead himself. He's over there running hot, it's steaming. Right here. Can you spin that push rod? Yeah, most <laughs> mostly. <laughs> they both feel good to me. Okay. You feeling slick? Now we're going for two thumb ver verification. Right there. Right there. Yep. She's an oiling machine, ain't she? Mm -hmm. That's good, though. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Okay, that one's good. Let's put the Velcro back on and do this. All right, we went for a three person verification process. One, we let Bill do it in his way, and then me and Slick went down through there. I'm kind of getting a feel for that. I've set valves on a small block Chevy before, but I've just done it with them running. Uh, I made some temporary cardboard valve covers, you covers, know. Yeah. They, and they, I've and I've bent all the valves. Yeah, so I should definitely carry. trust him. <laughs> so for the triple check, we we slap slick on it. Yeah. Wooden slicks fall. The bent valves. Of course, the camera wasn't on. Y'all be careful sliding that unit in there. Uh, if you get it connected to the motor, that side touching, and you find the corner of that right there, <laughs> where it, to weld. Yeah, where it looks like it arch. You cannot weld aluminum to. Chinese chrome. That's how it's done whipping me. 
Go ahead and Ooh. Yeah, she had some vacuum on her, didn't she? Turn it flat like that. Side that this one was loose, we could hear it that it was back in here, and that one was loose. What about this side? This side, they're all good. You like it all? Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the taser, taser, taser. Oh. Nine volt battery. <laughs> you got nine volt? Find one. Every ever ready gold. Stick it on your tongue and see if it works. She Dead. good. She good. I've licked worse than that, Bill. <laughs> you can keep that to yourself. Well, quick little uh, detour on the plan here. Uh, none of them were like plumb scattered all over the place, obviously different. And it wasn't really that much different than over here, guys, so no like crazy looking surprises. She needs some power steering fluid in her though. And uh, actually it looks like it's leaking some because there's some down there on the ground I see. But also I've got to take this little setup apart because I forgot to put this in there last time and I don't even know what the hell that's for. She was a little loose. Uh, it was tight, but just, just barely no. snug. That was probably our leak right there. I can try to put a pan underneath this, except uh, it's so low, I don't think we'd do any good. Except it's pouring now. <laughs> Here, put the cookie pan underneath it. Oh yeah, the muffin pan. The muffin pan? The muffin pan. You could definitely do the muffin pan voice. That was pretty good. <clears throat> that sucker's hot. Yeah, that's usually the wrist saver, but today that's the finger saver. There's already something spring loaded in there. <laughs> what was this off of then? <laughs> I don't know, I found it on the bead roller. There ain't no telling how long it's been sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> the power steering was working without it so you know what let's just put it back together i'm gonna put a new o-ring on this because i did not replace that and we had a slight leak coming so i think it was probably from our line but uh, we might as well since we're here maybe one of these units yeah because i remember it being a pain shoving it in there because it's against something spring loaded as long as we can get this line happy uh, we'll be ready to try to top her off and get the whole system happy. How'd the muffins turn out? A little messy? Oh, that's right there. Hell yeah. Oh, that was yeah. spraying hydraulic fluid yeah. right on the exhaust. Right on. God bless it. That's good. <laughs> this repair shop sucks. <laughs> Are you the old lady getting her wheel changed right now? Yeah. Hush it up, old lady. We ain't having fun underneath here, neither. <laughs> I don't want to be here any more than you do. <laughs> oh, all right. It ain't, the, it ain't the line. It was squirting out behind the big piece. That O-ring we put on there ain't, ain't doing its job. So I'm going to take this apart now for like the 15th time. This is, this is a metric o-ring assortment kit so maybe it'll be a little different than our other one it goes out past the middle as long as it goes out past that it should seal in theory it should should well we're about out of options select that he uh tossed our there it is right there the one we took off there that one's yeah better. that's bigger back to the original one we go and hopefully the small little leak we we're originally getting was just from the uh, line being barely snug. That's tight. Use your straw can. Use the straw. Is that the one on the steroids? <laughs> That's my butt cheek, Bill. That's your butt cheek. <laughs> Put just a little bit in there this time. That way we ain't gotta lose it all again if it is leaking. How's 
you steering slick like a Lamborghini? Lamborghini to pan a wagon. You're supposed to flex on them, Bill, and hit it with a $5 bill. The biggest one that was in my wallet. See? Abraham Lincoln never stood a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna let her run and warm up. Don't worry about that big old puddle we created. Just a little power steering fluid. Uh, I'm gonna let her run and warm up where we can actually kind of tune on it. I wanna tune on the carburetor and stuff. So you got some body panels in here rattling. Got great oil pressure. She's just now about a buck 50, so we wanna let her get up to temp. kitty litter so I can't even clean up the mess so we just pull it forward and make the mess completely disappear that's basically the same thing warms up here uh, one of the things we, I wanted to check for with that side running hotter appearing to have ran hotter was vacuum leak so I don't know if you guys can hear it, it sounds like there's a little bit of chatter still so this timing light is kind of cool you can actually I thought you had to hook up that green wire but it's telling us our RPMs right there you're gonna play with your mixture screws you don't want it idled up you don't want that thing pulling air uh, drop it down as low as you can get it to tune on it. You can do it right there. It's still running. Real low. I got her down to about 650 to 700. She's bouncing. Too much exhaust fumes and smell <laughs> cool ranch Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to pass out? <laughs> I kind of like our timing. We did it by ear and then checked it. Uh, I kind of just tuned on that because I we knew it was going to be quite a big bit out, or we assumed it was. Uh, but now that we've done that, this vacuum gauge that we got, we can try putting it on there and see what it says. Three, baby. Shit, look at that. That ain't too bad. Hell no. no. You're on the high side of the dream, man. Not too shabby for doing it by ear. <laughs> Got her steadied out right there. Just consistent. That is not a bad uh, tune for no, now. We're not going anywhere. Why? Leaking again. Is it leaking again? Oh, power steering. Gonna be the death of me, this thing. You got the piece, right? Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm mobbing in the hot dog with Bill as main pilot. As Slick was pulling this, I just got off the phone with the, our, my insurance people, so I got insurance on the wagon. This paperwork right here will get us a tag today. All right, Bill, I see you up there getting buck nasty. <laughs> Bang, becoming Donk City around here. Got the twinky twinks on it. Different style. Shit the bed. I don't think we're gonna find one of these. We're hoping we'd get lucky. I think our next best bet is to try to find the best fitment O-ring. Something a little bigger. 
All right, guys, we found uh, two O-rings here that are working a little better. We're running out of options. We only got today. She gonna work slick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't seem so confident. <laughs> <laughs> that one right there offers 24 hour emergency surface mm -hmm. service. Carpet oh, Car Carl's carpet cleaning. Carl, my dog shit plumb everywhere, buddy. <laughs> this is, call, call him at three in the morning. <laughs> We got in that Han dog and Bill put on damn Jet City Woman and never left it on the throttle pedal between O'Reilly's and back here. Now I know why it seems like he can get all over the place quick. Boy, that cross member got a quart and a half in it. Yeah. <laughs> So definitely before we uh, drive on it, we need to figure out our return spring. Also, we can hook up a piece of vacuum hose here for our vacuum advance. And I don't know that our distributor is actually locked down, so we may wanna uh, put, a, put a turn or two on it. Bracket here is gonna have to take a ride on the old Christmas tree. Of course, that's gonna go right there, hopefully. She's gonna have all the bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> Go press on it with your face. Ain't no damn way. Do one. Pretty sure that sucker was stiffer than our trampoline in the backyard. That's still pretty set, stiff right there. It's like Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He always puts down the newspaper. <laughs> uh, I don't know that'll be El Permanente. I think a softer spring would be better. Next up, good old vacuum advance. Just try to cut that with the world's worst cutters, but it did it. Can you wiggle that down in there, Bill? Yeah, it's tight. All right, that don't look too trashy, does it? Nah, I can't see it really from up here. I mean, I can nah, see it. I don't want people thinking I'm white trash or nothing. You got uh, some dikes. Oh, oh, and keep... they're in my pocket. Oh, <laughs> dang. Joke's on y'all, I come prepared. I don't know, you keep dip, dipping your head in that muffin, honey dripping muffin pan, they're gonna think you're <laughs> redneck <laughs> <laughs> now we're trying to hurry because the tag agency closes soon you know but i got top priorities like this all thread that hangs out plum drives me crazy so we got to cut that down before we put the chrome breather back on because that's important right now now of course i didn't actually measure that i just kind of guessed at it Shoot, if we had the butterfly nut that'd be the perfect height bill yep uh-huh might not be able to get a power steering line to quit leaking, but I know where to cut some all thread. Uh -huh. Now we're not we're not half assing around here, so we are gonna get our battery bolt in here. Oh, if this runs out, we will certainly uh, certainly be on the side of the road because the alternator is not hooked up. I ain't going burning up, I'll tell you that much. Not all the well, that's good. Apparently we got a window to fix at some oh, point. And it may never come back up. Go ahead and turn the air conditioning on here. Full blast. Did you say this was the only one that worked, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we uh, tune up the, or turn up the idle a little bit on her and she'll be ready to go to the tag agency. turn your vehicle off <laughs> no we didn't steal it i don't see no fluid so that's a good thing sound like i dropped a wrench when i got out sure did what do you think about that mr horsepower that tire's rubbing see the marks on the oh yeah on the tire well that did not go good it's got all the oil pressure and stays running cool though so that's good Oh, is it black? Oh, baby! Look, that's the kind of surprise I'm talking about. We 
course it sounds good running in here go. get a load on it it ain't liking it so i think i need it to cool off some uh it'll make me feel a lot better if we do a compression check on this thing plug wires out the way first out is number two I know that ain't number two. I was just testing you. I know that's number 12. <sighs> then number one. I already noticed something I'll show y'all here shortly. <sighs> Five. Oh, just found a big problem. Last but not least, here comes a nice hot hand burning. Number seven. I definitely found one of our misses. Woo! Here's number one. Uh, that gap is closed up. That was the first thing I noticed when I pulled it out, guys. It was still burning, as you can tell, but that gap is pert near closed. Number three, uh, looks like it's burning good. I mean, that's a good looking plug right there. Nice gap, unlike number one. Why don't we look at number five? <laughs> I don't know if I dropped five when we were putting it in and Matt got it or what, but looky there, guys. There, I mean, y'all probably can't see it. There is daylight through there, but uh, that's no bueno. I bet the camera can't even pick it up. Ain't no damn way. I mean, she's practically rubbing. Now, I have seen this happen before. And it's pretty common, whether you're experienced or not experienced, guys, you're first getting started doing some stuff like this, or you've been doing crap like this for a while. Uh, there's a professional term of what explains situation like this, and it's uh, shit happens. You've been working on your car, you know, some crap ain't necessarily going right, basically today, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today's that day. Like after this, we get done doing a compression test. I'm tired, I'm worn out, whatever. I drop a plug. I'm just thinking, let's get it back together. And I don't pick it up and go, hey, let me look at that gap. And you wouldn't think that just dropping that would close that sucker up. But when it hits just right, it'll get you. So this is not good. Now hop and look at number seven. And uh, right there, we got good looking spark plug gap. It has a gap, but it also looks like it's burning just beautiful. So we know what this side's looking like. And now more than ever, we want to check this side because we know I've been closing gaps on accident. Kind of like when you try to race my Datsun. Oh, that ain't closing gaps. We're creating gaps on purpose. <laughs> this side's a hell of a lot better than the other side. They're all uh, nice consistent. They all look like they're burning about right. Pretty good looking. And I'm gonna disconnect our spring here because that thing's tighter than Dick's hat band. Can't even hardly cycle this thing. Like that right there. That should have our throttle wide open, what you want for compression testing. Just a hair short of a buck 50. She also ain't cranking the best. We're gonna give her a little bonus charging helper action. Might have to act right because Uncle Rick's here. Just right, you can see some daylight through there. But <laughs> it's nothing. this is this Zero. is the front one. This is number one. <laughs> so number one that had been dropped, she's sitting about twenty thousandths, just enough to get on there. There you go, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You've been running on seven. If she runs that good on seven, wait till I get her on eight. Be happy to camp for how about we gap that sucker out to about 45 thousandths? It'd be better than not having them. The gap on this one's set at uh, non-existent. That's a zilcher. What do you think? Think that looks a little better? I actually gap from here now. There it go. Well, I got them all in and tightened up. 
the next tricky part is getting these plug wires on these back too. They're kind of a pain to get to. Ugh. Guys, I took it up and down the back in the backyard. Managed to hit about 65, 75 back there pretty quick. Y'all know I got that long backyard and uh, it did not skip a beat this time. So yes, if you have an engine, it does run better on all the cylinders. Uh, it was a little pissed off going up and down the road in the backyard, Rick. <laughs> here. So uh, I texted the lady who did my title stuff and I guess anyways she said it ain't a big deal it happens a lot uh she can have it redone send me a new piece of paper we'll be good to go i'm about out of time so uh it'll have to be next time we work on it we can get the title well we're waiting on paperwork either way uh we'll have to get it so we can then get her out on the road street legal whichever one i got clinking would you run the whole side if you get the back around be easy just you can just run that whole side while you're there you know so i'm gonna have uncle rick show me how he would set this first set and then he can get out of here and we can take care of the rest fill her up there yep okay yeah tight yep Just start about right there and basically we'll go now i'm going high rev so let's go half turn instead of three corners <laughs> <laughs> Half turn. Yeah, we went just a little over half turn. Five eighths? Five eighths turn? And well, they're saying you, sh you shouldn't be able to turn that now. I mean, you can, man. I mean, it ain't going to turn it real easy. You're going to have to, if you get a turn, you're doing something. Be sure to send me my uh, certificate in the mail saying I'm certified. On the way. Sounds worse than when I started. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping it was going to be uh, better than when I started. That's good. I think we're going to wait to mess with the valves running those anymore. Because I just gave it my best hoorah with that engine hot. And I thought they felt like he just said they should feel. And, well, we ain't doing no good over there. But there is one last hoorah we can do. There we go. At least we got that old ugly cap swapped out. Running good, other than the chatter. All right, guys. Uh, I would I would give it more if I had more time. Uh, I've got to run the tow roller to my mom. <sighs> Still got a pack because we're going out of town tomorrow. We got to figure out dinner because the girls are working on orders right now. They're in here banging them out, getting everything finished up. I look so excited over there. Sheesh. <laughs> They're getting some more totes in the van. We got to take that up there first thing in the morning before we head out of town. Uh, once again, thank you guys for the huge support on the merchandise. Proud of my girls for knocking it out and uh, just complaining a little bit. I don't... I don't ever show y'all when they complain too much. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, this kind of gives you an idea of what could happen in one day. And now if I had a full week, you could see how we would know, you know, maybe tomorrow when I'm fresh, I would need to come out here, run the valves. Uh, we would, you know, probably start looking into some tire clearancing and then into some wiring and stuff like that. But in today, one whole shot, one big video, uh, that's what we got time to scramble and do. And it may not seem like much, but guys, I'm freaking pumped because the mess is gone. We identified 100% where we know what was causing our issues. And uh, that that's a good feeling. So hopefully that helps someone uh, cover your steps, go over, uh, backtrack. Don't think just because I did this, I know it's good because you may miss something like one spark plug giving you fits. And uh, yeah, I'm only human, guys. 
I try my hardest on this stuff, but I get hot and exhausted too. I'm on the Instagrammer. I'm on the Patreon. Uh, we still have some merchandise at the PuddinsFabricationShop.com, PuddinsFabShop.com. Uh, Mama Didn't Raise No Punk shirts in gray, some of the white left tank tops, women's shirts, kiddo shirts. I did not tell y'all in last week's thing, I did not know we were getting kiddo shirts. We appreciate all the support there, and I will see you guys next time. But do not forget, Sitting on your ass, we'll finish your project.